Let's do a bit of Isaac before moving on to some of the other stuff I want to do tonight. It's Sunday. And I uh, just want to chill. Uh, there's like about 20 or so minutes before the daily. What the hey? Let me give that hard challenge another try. This old thing. I am still sore. <laughs> it's really just my calves, but, you know. Still a little sore. It's only really noticeable when I sit down for a while and then I stand up and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. Is this thing being more aggressive, or what? I was gonna say, there seems to be like... ...a strong amount of enemies that it's spawning. Okay, so the bot worked this time. I don't know. The bot has been on and off. I haven't done anything. It's just... ...being very selective. It might be related to what they're doing with Discord bots, that something's changed and, I don't know, they're just struggling to make sure it works, but that's cool. I, I can't really do anything about it. It's kind of just let it play out. Hopefully it'll be all good. I went and, uh, had, like, dinner with my brother and his partner. It's pretty nice. Went to the Stone Grill place. I've never done that kind of thing before. It's kind of, I guess, similar to the concept of what, like, uh, like, Korean barbecue or, uh, what do you call it? Like fondue, I guess, but not really. Like, you kind of get your own plate. It's not like there's a bunch of stuff and then you just grab. So it's pretty nice. And you strat, make you cook your own food. I was joking about that to my brother. I'm like, you know what? The brilliant thing of that is, is like, one, it's like, you can never complain about how the meat is cooked. It's like, that's what that's on you. And two, from a kitchen perspective, it's, it's pretty... I'm not going to say easy to prepare, but it's kind of like it eases pressure off the other stuff that isn't the stone grill. But it was pretty nice. It's something that uh, I think for a social thing is good. If I was on my own, mm, nah, just bring me out the cooked meat. <laughs> Oh, but it's okay. Like, I know how to cook meat. It's fine. Alright, there's one more thing to find. But yeah, that's, uh, aside from that, haven't really done much today. It's a lazy Sunday for me.
I think it's a nice thing to do if you're like going out on a date. Go to one of those places, it's like, yeah. You have conversation whilst uh, you're cooking your own food. But yeah, I mean, they, they did other stuff other than uh, the grill. I was worried there for a sec. I was like, what the fuck do you mean take damage? No, 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 no. It's, it's this shit. It's this challenge. This annoying challenge that I feel like I'm only going to complete if I get the Book of Shadows or Holy Mantle. It's just one of these things. Ah, oh, you, you ass, you ass. <laughs> really? Oh, that's that's obnoxious. Yeah, we got twenty minutes for the daily, and then. I probably do like one run after that and we're good. I kind of want to continue Yakuza. Okay. Well, I mean, I do have the dice room reroll. Oh yeah, something weird. Couldn't really tell what was going on, but like, at a gas station, the police had pulled over someone, and from a distance it looked like it was a kid. But we're not sure if it was like, actually a kid or someone that just looks like a kid. Because sometimes that can happen. Okay, hold up. Hmm, thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. That's not going to do me a lot of good, is it? Okay, I'll buy it. What's this? Okay. Alright, so... Here's the deal. I'm getting that just to re-roll it, pretty much. Now let me worry about this. Ready? I don't, I don't really have a choice, do I? It's kind of... I guess it gave me a refund. What about here? Okay, that was worth it. Nope. <sighs> the stupid challenge and it's like, hey, take the player's health because it's funny. On a character that has no 
No way of gaining, like, temporary health. I'm not kidding, this is pretty much gonna be a case of until I get that book, where I can prevent that shit from happening, with it's most likely ultimately gonna end that way. It's alright, we got time to kill. Yup. I suppose that's one distinct advantage of this is I can get in these rooms every time. Hot. Fuck off. Oh my god. Game is rude. Health, please. There we go. I'm gonna look in the hope that there is a library. Do it just in case. I did get a refund anyway.
Uh, I don't. I mean, I guess only because Guppy. No, wait, it's Curse of the Blind, isn't it? No, don't do it. Okay. I won't be able to see what I'm picking anyway, so there's no point. Yeah, take all my health away. Make this annoying. See, the thing is, this is good from a damage perspective, it's horrible from a health perspective. But it's not like... It's not like that heart makes an extreme difference, I don't think. Like, I'm still getting health. Oh, this is fucking annoying. <laughs> Like, if it was one of those things where... Wow, that water ripoff. Like, it could guarantee every second room would get health. I'd hang on to it, but it's not even that. It's... Say this one in the interest of getting damage. I'm gonna have a look around. I hope that I can get the holy mantle. I think that's all I can do, aside from maybe this. Damn it! <laughs> I can't reach it. done yet. Like, I'm, I'm gonna try and get as much as I can from these floors. Hey, Lelo, how's it going, dude? Up late? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> yeah. Fair. How's, uh, how's things? <sighs> That's a shame. Challenge is so annoying. <laughs> it doesn't even give you that much damage for what it does to you. I'm going okay, you already know I'm gonna roast you on this, but it's been hot as shit here. Ah, oh, it's fine. I'm not gonna say anything. Because I could say it, it's been cold here as well. Also, you, you grew up in Hawaii, it's fine. You have a better uh, grounding on what's considered hot. Ah! <laughs> oh, thank fuck. Not dead. <laughs> this challenge is so annoying. But I can't rely on that saving me constantly. Kinda in Hawaii, it's around 75 most of the time. That's still. Fine, right? Oh, dude, I'm not focusing. <laughs> Did you end up in installing Fall Guys? Was I the guy you asked to try TOI? No idea what TOI is, so doubt. <laughs> I mean, I probably do, just not familiar with the acronym. Not yet, but it'll take like 10 seconds whenever you do. Yeah, fair. It's a lot le less repetitive, there's a lot more maps, it's more varied. So... Okay, this is definitely worth it. They're twitching off eyes like, oh, if it's a mod then I can't, because I'm playing the PS5 version. You've been avoiding your room because it's too hot and you don't have air conditioning. Oh no. Yeah, I mean, that shit's standard here in Australia. You gotta have it. Ah. Otherwise, you may as well be in an oven. Well, I was gonna say, if you felt like playing, we could do some rounds later, but... If you're avoiding your room... <laughs> that's fine. I, I feel that. Ah. 
Vamos acá, arranca, arranca. Is this wrong of me to, uh... <laughs> you still haven't forgotten about the betrayals. Oh dear. Nectar actually got a crown playing with me. Dude, more than more than one, like three times, I think. I mean one was definitely direct, uh definitely one. I like the squads feature now, it's it just means there's more significance to grouping up in the game than there used to be. I don't know what- no, you know what, I collect health because even if it takes it away from me, I get damage from it, so it's fine. I mean, I wish it wouldn't happen, but... I guess there lies the challenge. Well, yeah, I mean, if you do feel like firing it up, let me know. I mean, at, at Sunday, I don't mind, like, doing that instead of other stuff. I'm pretty much here to do my daily run requirements, and that's, that's it. I haven't quite gotten into the nitty gritty of like, uh, completing characters to the, well, entirety, I don't know. English is hard today. Full extent, that's, that's what I was looking for. I'll get to it eventually. I guess. Aside from your room being an oven, you do actually have work tomorrow morning. Don't know about tonight, but you're about to enter a three-day weekend, so you'll be down for sure. Alright. That's cool. <laughs> you dick. Oh, this room. Nope, just walk in, walk out, walk in. Walk out, walk in, walk out, walk in. Why can't I pick it up? <laughs> now walk back in because it dropped two hearts. Just want an another chance at potentially getting the mantle. You went to this karaoke night the other day and some guy was singing a song from the Yakuza karaoke. Oh really? That's pretty cool. I assume it it's gotta be like the popular one, right? This is kind of a no-brainer. I can go get the red door item as well with this. Oh, 
I like that stuff like that is more normalized now, you know? Worried, but good, good stuff. Um, see, none of this is really going to protect me. This might. Rune shard didn't do anything. Okay, pick up the health. Away we go. For sure, still caught you off guard. Oh, it would have been awesome, though. Ah! Ah! Nah, just gone. This challenge is so annoying, because it's pretty much a case of... You're going to have a bad time unless you find two specific items that, like, counter it. It's okay, just in time for the daily. I was just killing time until this was ready. Are you a wizard? Leave that for a minute. I'm surprised how many people know about the Yakuza series. I guess it, it's super popular. Empress. Okay, bear with. Um, go here. I know I probably did that inefficiently, but it doesn't matter. Two things that are reliant on money. One of the neat things I've been able to do when I've been playing Fall Guys off stream is like... I bought a, uh... I don't know if you heard, I bought like a mixer. A different one, like... One that pretty much lets you mix uh, software audio sources, so... To cut a long story short, I can make it so... My music is coming through a separate audio channel. So I can choose to combine that with my mic and then the game audio comes back as a separate thing, or like, keep everything separate. But all that means is, like, I can play music whilst playing on games on stream, but then it doesn't end up in the VOD at all because it doesn't go to OBS. Or, like, in Discord, I can play it and then it doesn't double up my game audio. So you can mute the, the stream, right, in Discord, but then you still hear the music. It's actually pretty neat. And for, no for nothing else, uh, that's... That's the useful thing. Hey, Nick. That was my little uh, upgrade. The only other thing I gotta deal with is I need a new headset. The one I have is like... I'm surprised it's not gone. It's just literally hanging in there. And I say literally <laughs> because um, part of the plastic that's holding the left ear cup has given way. And it's a, 
a cable. A cable is holding the left ear, ear cup in place. So, yeah, it's not great, but still functional. I love Steel Series headsets, but I think they all have the same flaw where the joint where the head, uh, like the band, connects with the, uh, like the cup, it's structurally weak and will eventually give way. Yours are being held together with duct tape, yeah. It sucks. But I mean, you do what you have to do, right? Oh, I don't have a key. Ooh. I'm right though, that flimsy plastic piece that it swivels on just bound to snap eventually. Yeah, and it's not because you're being careless, it's just wear and tear, like it... If I leave mine hanging on a headphone, um, like, arm thing. It's not like I just leave it lying around, like I, I did take care of it. But I mean, aside from that, right, like, the headset's good, like, in terms of what it does, I can definitely recommend that it. it's just this one detail where it's kind of like, yeah, there's a strong chance that your headset eventually might just fucking die. And there's not a whole lot you can do about it. For sure, you might try a different set for your next one based on that, to be honest. I mean, the other thing you can do, if you don't give a shit about wireless, right, because this is my thought, is the only reason I went this headset is because the wireless factor is just, that's, that's the thing for me, is, is because it's wireless. But if you don't care about wireless, like, honestly... If you already have, like, a, a USB microphone, you're already using a microphone as a separate source, which is what I'm doing, by the way. Like, you may as well just get, um, a mixer. Or just something that allows you to use a proper set of headphones, like five and a quarter inch ones on a PC. And you'll get really good sound quality out of them. Just, of course, you have a cable, but it'll probably cost you the same as one of the expensive gamer headsets, and you'll probably get better audio quality. It's just the only thing that keeps me wanting these is, at the end of the day, for a wireless headset, it's great. Wired headset? Not really. Things aren't made to last anymore. Shakes Kane. No, I mean, you're right. Do you remember shit used to have a lifetime warranty? Remember that shit? Lifetime warranty. When was the last time you saw that? Like, most... Okay. In Australia, because of law, they have to. It's like minimum one year. But I've heard of some products in America where it's like 30 day warranty. It's like, what the fuck do you mean 30 day warranty? Nothing bad can happen if in 30 days. That's just such an unreasonable amount of time to like 
think that something's gonna go wrong. Like, if anything's gonna go wrong, it's gonna be in the long run. Thirty days, like that—that's—that's that's a joke, right? It's just like, yeah, we gave you something technically. Even ninety days is still a joke. In Australia, it's like 90 day money back guarantee and the warranty is like minimum of a year. And depending on what the product is, you could probably argue that you could get it re repaired out of warranty if it's being marketed as a premium product. You bought a sandwich 29 days ago, and when they took it back under warranty, they threw it out. Yeah, that, that's food, come on. It's like... Exaggeration. I don't know. Here it's nice, because... Consider this, like, you have a... $500 laptop comes with a one-year warranty, and then you have an Apple laptop, which costs like three to four times more, comes with one-year warranty. So the law here is pretty much you would expect the Apple laptop to last longer because it's being marketed to consumers as a premium product, and therefore should last more than a $500 laptop. So they'll force Apple to go, nah, you have to take care of this because how the fuck can your super expensive product be not as, uh, not as good as something that's like a third of the cost. It's great in circumstances like that. Wait, the warranty not in of the time you feel like it's a factory warranty which only replaces it if it's broken or defective out of the box. Right, dead on arrival is like that term. Yeah, I mean, here the, those extended warranties are basically a, a waste of money. It's it's covered by our consumer law in most cases. The only time an extended warranty would be something that would be worth it in Australia is like if you're picking up something that is pretty inexpensive and it might break in a year. But for stuff that's like, we're talking... Stuff like Sony, Apple, Samsung, those big companies that, like, are the ones that advertise as being the premium product. Nah, dude, you're covered. Uh. I haven't gotten this item before. Not sure what this does, but we'll see. Talking about warranties brings back... <laughs> oh no. Yeah, major PTSD in working in cells. Yeah, I know. I don't know, I appreciate it in the regard that we have it here. Pretty much any time you have a problem for product, you can get it resolved, more or less.
wait, what? Like, wait, huh? Why did it give me a free one? Or is that what that does? Um, also, I'm not touching that because I know what it does. Is this the one that replaces all your health with skull hearts, or is this a different one? It spawns two bosses, but two items. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Does this one get rid of all my health for, uh... What do you call it? Skull hearts, or nah? I think I might be thinking of another item. This might be one that just adds one. No? Okay. Yeah, okay, it's just one. That's fine. But it's gonna vanish anyway. <laughs> so, whatever. Or is it? No, it's not. Okay. Eh, eh, okay. Yeah, that is an interesting item. It's one of these, uh, like, challenge up items. Yeah, you certainly have some stories working in retail. I think the one that I used to get constantly was just people purchasing games for, uh, the PS3, no, sorry, purchasing games for the PS2, but they were PS3 games, and then they would get annoyed, and they would ask me why the PS2 couldn't play PS3 games. And I'd have to explain to them that the console that was designed 10 years prior to the PS3 um, yeah, their scientists couldn't really predict that we would have Blu-ray technology, a different kind of medium that didn't exist yet, so they couldn't exactly plan for it. You would understand that the other way around. Yeah, I mean, that one's, that one's easier to explain. It's just like, yeah, sorry, it's, it's not, it's just unfortunate, fair enough, honest mistake, but like... It's not even that they came in similar boxes, right? Like, the ones... Yeah, exactly. It's, it's almost as dumb as saying, why can't my tape deck use CDs? But I guess the benefit of the doubt here is, like, Blu-ray and CDs, or DVDs, I guess. In terms of physical form, they're the, they're the same thing. It's just the difference is, if you flip them over, okay, the Blu-ray, like, looks different, right? It's obvious. Same with a DVD to a CD, but... I guess to the average person, it's kind of like... If it was a movie, right? You could argue that that mistake is more honest, but in the context of gaming, it's like, what do you mean? Did you honestly expect that the console you bought 10 years ago would be able to play a, a brand new game that is marked as, like, a different console? No problem. My favorite one, though, was, was this dude that was like... He wanted to buy a, a Blu-ray player. And so, you know, the, the conversation was going pretty normally. And then it kind of shifted towards, like, how much space the case has on the inside. Like, what? Well, like, I don't know. Like, I've, I've, to be honest, I don't open these things up. I don't know. Why do you want to know how much space it has on the inside? He wanted to know, like, how much space the cabling and all that took up on the inside. I'm like, why? So, the dude had the idea where... I don't know how the fuck he thought he was going to do this, but he thought that he could somehow attach a hard... a laptop hard drive to the Blu-ray player to make it a Blu-ray recorder. Like, that was the logic. Like, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll make it record stuff to the hard drive. Like, what? What, what? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I can't explain that one. And I was like, ah, oh, nah, first of all, that'll void your warranty, right? So, like, if you mess it up, that's, that's on you. And I'm, I'm almost positive this is not, this isn't gonna work out the way you think it will. You'll just end up with two broken, you'll end up with a broken drive and a broken player. Oh, dude. And you know the gr the greatest thing of that entire conversation is I was 16 at the time. I was 16 at the time and here's this dude going into a Kmart of all places thinking that he's going to get expert advice on the internals of a Blu-ray player and how to install a custom attachment to it from a teenager. Like, just think about think about the delusion involved to kind of get to that point where that's the conversation you're having. Dude, most most of the people that work these jobs, like, at least in Australia, they're teenagers. They don't fucking know, like... They have no expert opinion. Some of them might because they're into gaming or the thing, right? It's just chance. Like, I remember one of the worst things about working in retail was the walkout, where you would finish your shift and you would be walking to the front of the store to leave the building, right? So, because at any given point, someone will stop you and try to ask you a question from a department that you don't work in. And it's, it's kind of like, unfortunately, the way I had to go out, I had to go past, like, uh... Hardware tools and gardening shit. So like I'd constantly get asked questions about lawnmowers and just power tools and stuff, and I'd be like, I don't know. Like I'm a, I'm a teenager. I'm not a tradesman. And some of them would get angry because you didn't know, and I'm and it, I just was always dumbfounded at that. Like. How can you expect an expert opinion at a Kmart? It just, it just doesn't make sense. Anyone that's worked in retail will know exactly what I'm talking about. Just that the walk. Even if, even if you put on your jacket to cover up like the shirt, you, the polo shirt you might be wearing, they can still see you're an employee. They'll still ask you a question. It doesn't help. Unless you completely get changed into normal clothing. Which I did for some time, by the way. Like, just because it was that annoying. When it, During the, the big sales they would have, I would bring a set of clothes to work to change into. So then on the way out, like... Because otherwise, it, like, during those big sales, they can eat, like, 10 to 15 minutes of your time. Just people trying to pull you aside. The twelve dollars now you get paid to feel this question doesn't cover you caring. <laughs> yeah, well. Twelve dollars if you're lucky. You remember working at a kiosk in the mall and people would constantly ask you shit about other stores because in their minds you work in the mall, so you obviously know the whole mall. Yeah. Yeah. There are some people where, like, they ask you just in case, right? And they're okay if you say, I don't know. But then you get those assholes every now and then that are like, What? Well, you work in the mall, right? The fuck you mean you don't know? I thought you were supposed to know everything in the mall. What's going on? I thought it was your job. You work here, don't you? It's like, yes, it is my job to know the innings and outs of, it, like, every single item we sell. All 10,000 items, I need to know from an expert perspective, what it does, how it works, the varieties, you name it. I need to be like a database.
I mean, the only thing about retail that I miss is just, I guess, the people. But other than that, it's just... I've always been patient with, like, fast food places and retail just because I used to work those jobs, like, when I was a teenager. And I, I've been on that side of, like, experiencing people that are just dickheads. Like, I, I don't see how there's a disconnect made that they see, like... Yeah, I, I need- I demand that everyone that works here is, like, as competent as a scientist would be at their job. And must know everything. <laughs> Customers are idiots, Noakes, and you're no exception. I- it's one of those things where, like... Ooh. Hang on. I'm debating whether I should get this. You can get good- it's- it's like- it's like teaching in other fields, right? Like, you can get good teachers and you can get bad teachers. You can get good customers, you can get bad customers. There are people out there that will, like, go out of their way to let you know that you're doing well, or, like, when someone that's sh being shitty to you, they will, like, tell that person and kind of remind them, Hey, this is a teenager working here, like, turn it down a little. <laughs> It's not to say everyone, everyone's an idiot. We may as well do this, get an extra item. Oh yeah, right. Forgot it was gonna do this. Well, at least it's good that I learned what this item does, because I think if you're not prepared for it, it, it can mess you up. Sh sure, I, I guess. Wait, quirt is actually a real word, is it now? What's what does it mean? Or is it one of these like word words where it's not really a word? Like how some words have only become words just because people are using them. One thing I found funny about Kmart, specifically here in Australia, is like, for anything that they sell that, um, is like, it's not that Kmart manufactures it, it's kind of like, they call it a home brand, it's something that, you know, they have logis logistics over it, pretty much, right? If anyone wanted to return it, or refund it, the policy was no questions asked, just do it. Because it would cost the company more to listen to people complain than it would to just refund them the fucking thing. <laughs> like, it costs more employee time to listen to people complaining about a shitty Kmart product than it is to refund that product and just be done with it.
Which kind of, I guess, hints at how much it costs them to make that shit, but, you know. I always found it amusing. It's a short-handed riding whip with braided leather lash. Huh. No shit. Yeah, I mean, shit, that's a good word for Scrabble. Of course, it's something that, uh, will definitely, someone's gonna question. It's just one of those things where it's just random trivia, like... It's always amazing what the brain remembers. Oh, sweet. Awesome. Like, sometimes you'll just remember stupid little tidbits that will have no purpose other than to serve you well in a trivia night or, like, a game where you need to pull out something obscure to get a high score. It's like I told the story before where, uh... My brother and their friends were, like, debating of this- the existence of this song. Um... And they didn't know- they didn't know the name of the song. Experimental and I remember the name not because I remember the name of the song, but because I remembered an anecdote from a book from this radio celebrity, local radio, radio celebrity, in my hometown, and he was telling some story about how he got the song- the, that song stuck in his head. And that's how I knew the name of the song. I didn't remember the name of the song, I remember that story. From a book that probably no one's ever read. A book that I probably long forgot about, because I, like, read it when I was a teenager. And just in that instant, Brain was like, Hello, I have found some footage that I have archived for you all these years that I think you'll find useful right now. I didn't save footage that uh, taught you things like uh, French, like you don't recall any of those French lessons you had in high school. That's all gone. But I did so happen to keep the main synopsis of this obscure radio celebrity in Melbourne and his book. You're welcome. This reminds you of the conversation about the word bollard. Oh. I, it does ring a bell, but rem remind us. For the entertainment of chat, I guess. I, d I do recall a conversation about bollards. Bollards, pillars, uh, pillars in the dock. Um, they can be, like, it, the most common use is, like, for traffic management, or, like, you don't want cars to go somewhere, they'll put traffic bollards in. It's just this metallic post that kind of just sticks out of the ground. So here in Melbourne, they use them to signify that it's an alleyway and the car can't continue any further. Oh yeah, right, I'm- I'm immune. They've changed it. The foot used to count as explosion damage, but it doesn't anymore. So you're not foot immune anymore. Oh, 
It just never occurred to you that there was a weirder word for this until I randomly said it. Yeah! I think it was in the context of like, I was talking, we were talking about random videos. I was talking about the, the video that's like car versus bollard. And so in the UK, because um, they have uh, mechanical bollards. So ones that will pop out of the ground randomly. Well, not randomly, right? Like, they'll have a lane that's specifically intended for buses. The bus will approach the bollards. I think the driver presses a button and then the bollards go down. And then the bus goes across. So there's traffic cameras of, like, cars trying to follow the bus behind. And what ends up happening is the bollards come back up out of the ground and impale the car. So I think that's what that's how we were talking about it. Like there's just a, there's just a video that's just a you know traffic camera compilation of just how often that shit happens. Like you'd be you would be surprised. <laughs> There's a, there's a similar- I think we talked about this as well, that, um, it's the same with certain bridges where they have a clearance. Like, there's a bridge here in Melbourne that you just constantly hear news of a truck trying to go under it and getting stuck. What's that bridge people crash into? Gonna have to be more specific, like, on an international basis or a local basis? I think that exists everywhere, is like, there's there's just always this bridge that... There's, there's just some dickhead that's always like, Yeah, nah, I can make it. Yeah. Yeah, nah, it'll be fine. And just tries to go under it. Oh, postal link. Yeah, go for it. The famous bridge that bridge people ca crash into Melbourne. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. <laughs> I know exactly which one you're talking about. <laughs> yep, Montague Street, that's the one. Yep. I didn't know that side existed. <laughs> that's fucking amazing. I can't- uh, like, wow. It- 37 days, it's only been, like, barely a month. Yeah, that- that bridge is, is infamous here in Melbourne. It's funny. It's kinda- it- that bridge is pretty much the equivalent of my Uber driver situation. Where, like, I know that it's going to happen at least once a month that some Uber driver is going to ring my doorbell and, and I'm going to have that same fucking conversation where it's like, hey, did you, hey, Uber here. It's like, hey, I didn't order anything. Hey, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Then they'll, they'll say, is this? And I'll say, no, it's not. Look at the number directly above the button you just press. That's like the size of your hand. What does that number say? Oh, sorry. Yeah, it... That's what happens with that bridge, pretty much. I didn't know that on average it was like 49 days, dude. You walk past there uh, getting some noodles and mates and had a good ass giggle. I- I have a very early memory of, like, my parents- well, we were driving somewhere, back from somewhere, and we went past that bridge and, like, someone drove into it and we were stuck there for ages. <laughs> I just remember. Ugh. There's another bridge like that in North Carolina they nicknamed the Can Opener or something like that. <laughs> That's great.
I'm surprised they haven't taken a photo. You know what they should do? But then, then again, that might just encourage people to just be even more careless about it. Just take a photo every time this shit happens of the driver. Right? And what happened. And just, like, start a mural, right? Like, the lead up to the bridge. Just set up a bunch of barricades, like, along the pedestrian side. And just set up, you know, a, a mural that's like a collage of photos of these dickheads that drive into that bridge. And if the fucking mural of, like, car accidents isn't enough to signify, hey, maybe I should stop and think about this, then... I don't know. You would think that just, even if it was only like a hundred meters of just like pictures, someone would stop and think and go, oh, okay, no, 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 no. I don't want to end up on this mural. I guess the mural would have to say something like, attention dickheads. It would have to be something where like ending up on there was a bad thing and not a good thing. need creative solutions to these problems. <laughs> Free clown college admission. That's another one. Kind of tripping out. I knew that that bridge was infamous, but I didn't think it was like a 40 day. What is this? Straw man. Uh, what? Oh. Whoa. Okay, now he gets hurt. Ooh, that's bad for business. Yeah, I didn't think that bridge got hit that av that uh, frequently on average, but it doesn't surprise me. I hope it doesn't have a downside where if it dies, I die. That would suck. No, it's dead. All right, cool. Bye. Is it just gone now? I did kind of, uh, hurt it. on the bullet hell. I don't really have damage now that I look at this. You tried a lot this for the first time the other day. That shit's awesome. If you mean what I think you mean, it's just it's just grilled corn, right? It's great. You kinda don't miss having a car. 
Yeah, I mean, depends where you live. If you're anywhere near the inner city, it's there's, there's no need. Unless you need to move some big stuff around. Oh, that's neat. Man, what a what a thing to get right now. Okay, great. That healed me right back up. Can't relate, getting a car is your number one priority. Yeah, I mean look, when you need it, you need it, but then I mean I rarely use mine, because I I'm in the inner city now, but Definitely before that, I, yeah. I needed it to do anything, pretty much. Because <laughs> public transport was like non-existent in some areas, or it would be like you'd have to wait almost two hours for a bus or something. like these rooms. Lucky enough to be able to depend on public transport but might need a car if you land a new job. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the same boat. I, c I can rely on public transport. Plus I have stuff that's like within walking distance. Also grocery delivery is like, it, it helps a bit. definitely doing stuff that like my parents would never have considered like grocery delivery and stuff like that but eh. Saves time. Great, because he, he can heal me. What is going on? Oh, I see, because of the, the friendliness. Alright, cool. Oh, wait, we're not done. My bad. <laughs> it's. You feel like using Ubers are literally against every rule you were taught as a child. Yeah. These convenience things that just never would have happened. It's kind of like uh, when I moved, and I guess when my brother just moved now. Like, the concept of hiring movers to move the heavy shit. Like, it's just like, what? Why don't you just do it yourself? It's like, because it's a lot of heavy shit. It's just... Yeah, I don't know. Growing up, it was like, just get the whole family to help. I'm like, I don't want to ask the whole family. I feel bad. Don't talk to strangers on the internet. Don't get into car with strangers. <laughs> well, I mean, on the thing about, like, strangers, right? It was something like... Statistically... It was more likely that the person that would, uh... Like, abduct a child or just do something horrible to a child would be someone that the child already knew and trusted to begin with. Like, the random encounter would be just, like... Um, anomalies, right? It's, it's not the norm. It would just be a case of, like, a freak accident, almost. You can't, you can't really teach kids that, can you? Like, don't trust anyone. You never know.
Wait, why am I going to the lamb? I, I suppose... If I'm trying to get extra items out of it, maybe. There was a South Park episode that joked about that. <laughs> Like, I got to the point where the parents thought that they were endangering their children. And so they just let them free and, yeah, it was great. I tried too hard to heal myself. That was my own fault. I think that was the same one where they went to live with the Mongolians. This is, uh, this is not looking great. The kids called the cops on their parents who went to jail. Yeah, right. I just remember Randy's, like, discussion at the end. <laughs> He's trying to teach Stan his own name. Because he thinks he doesn't remember. And Stan's just like, yeah, that's right. That's my name, Stan. It's like, good, you remember. Blood to blood. No idea what that does. Let's just leave it. Heal me. I consumed the trinket, whatever it was. I don't know. I ate the number six. Not sure what it does to my character, but... Okay. Alright. As, as long as I'm getting something out of this. This was worth it or not. <laughs> There's one more room. I'll do it. Mmm, probably shouldn't mess with that. I mean, okay, technically more damage, and I think he gets affected by the tears I have, so... I'm very minion-heavy here. Alright, final room. Who's my favorite character in this? Uh, probably Samson, I guess. I haven't really had time to play much of the newer ones lately, but it's one that I always have fun with just because you get damaged as you take damage. Okay, cool. Telepathy. Great. You 
think yours is the Forgotten. The Forgotten is interesting. Just because the synergies work differently with that character. Just the one thing I have is just the melee. It's a great idea, it's just there are certain bosses where, oh, it is it is not great going up against that. Oh, crap. I didn't see that. Well, how did I not see bright green? You still like Vanilla Eve? I mean, Eve is cool. I think the fact that you just like... I mean, my strategy with her is just take her down to low health and she does quite a bit. And if you only have, like, soul hearts, it still gets that benefit. I haven't tried any of the tainted characters, so... That being said, I've seen what Esau and uh, whatever the fuck it is. The twins. I've seen what the tainted version of that looks like, and I'm like, oh boy. That's, uh, that's something. Jacob and Esau's mental. Yeah. I think the idea is cool. I just... I don't think... The fact that one of them dies, both of them should die. I don't know. It's just clunky to play. But that being said, you can have some pretty cool stuff. It's just... I don't think it- I don't think it lends well. It's kind of like, uh, Isaac's heart, that item. That item is annoying, because it's- It's effectively the same problem, is like, you have a much larger hitbox. I feel like they added that character just as a hardcore mode. Hmm. I don't feel like it's even a hardcore mode, that's the thing, it's... It, there's a different set of rules for playing that character, so I don't see it as a hardcore mode. Good clickbait video, they made Isaac's heart into a character. Yeah, it's a good thing I don't do that. Just put, like, my face with a shrug. Pointing at, like, uh, the heart. And then the video will not even mention the heart at all. It'll just be all on, uh, everything but the heart. Ooh. Oh, this is chasing me. No wonder. Don't forget a shit ton of red arrows, yeah. It's like, I forgot what it was recently. Um, there was some streamer or like YouTuber that uh, passed away, sadly. And then some dude got into trouble because he was clickbaiting, like, uh, oh, these were the last words that dude ever said to me, or like, sad, saddest message. Just clickbaiting the fact that their friend had died, or supposed friend had died, and, you know, they left them a, a last message. So, like, come on, dude, really? That's just gross. Yep. But that's, uh... Chalk that up to the algorithm and the type of human beings it's created. <laughs> I 
We've been watching some of those, uh, those Sonic Finger Family videos in Discord, and dudes, they're just fucking wild. And that's, that's pure, those videos are like, that's the result of algorithm right there. It's just like, they find what the algorithm likes to get into these, like, feeds of children videos that get put on autoplay. And that's the result. <laughs> just... If it wasn't for, uh, the heals with bombs, I, I definitely would not have survived that. I, I had not, I mean, I didn't have base damage, but it wasn't good damage. Didn't really have anything interesting going on. And the fact that I could just talk throughout most of this run and still be okay. Yeah. Uh, but this is this is just how things are, I guess. Okay, uh what time is it? How much have I been going on this? Cause I do want to do a bit of Yakuza. Alright, it's only been an hour and a half, so let's do something. Okay, I haven't done anything with the Forgotten, so fine. Cause I did unlock them. I just haven't done anything, so on that note. Dude, clickbait is, uh, is something else. There was one I saw today, because, you know, there's the whole onslaught of just superhero movies that are coming out from Marvel. Um, just over-the-top announcements, I guess. But, like, one of them is on one of the upcoming Spider-Man movies, and the clickbait was that <laughs> there's a chance that this character could die. And it's one of those things where it's, like, it's technically true, right? It's, like, there's always a chance someone could die in a movie, right? But it's, like, for something that hasn't even been written yet. So it's, it's like, that's where clickbait is. It's like, yeah, there's all there's also a chance that that character could be uh, struck by lightning as well and suddenly transform into a horse. Equal chances of that happening as well. Nobody has ever died in a movie ever. No, it's, it's just... I guess because it's like a beloved character, they just put that out. This is not going well. I imagine I'm on like half a hit. Yeah, there's no way I'm doing the alternate path with this start. Uh-uh. I'm good. Really? Again? Okay, well this is good because I know I'm going to get brought up to good health. <laughs> but the same curse again. What does this do to the sl I'm kind of curious, like... Okay, so the bone throw, that's what it does. 
It does do fire rate up technically, so I'm gonna keep it. Did we ever watch everything everywhere all at once? Uh, I don't think I have. What is it? Pause. Everything everywhere. Wow, that's like the first result. Uh, I guess it's still showing in cinemas here. That's interesting. Have not seen it. It says an international interdimensional rupture unravels reality. An unlikely hero must channel her newfound powers to fight bizarre and bewildering dangers from the multiverse as the fate of the world hangs in the balance. Okay. First I've heard of it, but yeah. It seems it's getting uh, glowing reviews. It's still newish, yeah. It's not really showing up big cinemas here, it's like little ones from what I've seen. I'll have to keep that in mind. Okay, that's- oh, this is- this is good. Now we can hold two trinkets. Awesome. Good for the build that I've got going. Let's just do that, because we need health. I mean, I know it doesn't contribute to this one's health, I don't think. I mean, melee is fun when it's fun. Okay, that's a health up. We are not going through the devil door. Oh yeah, you know what that I'm thinking now is... If I have this box, there's a chance I could get the lost unlocked. I still haven't done that in this file. Ah, oh, you dickhead. Okay, I can't pick any more health up. I wonder how much health I actually have left. <laughs> Probably not a lot. I want to switch characters. What do you mean? I've been doing it. I just, I don't know. I prefer the melee, I guess. Most of the time. Because it does more damage. What do you mean? I did it to fly in through the door. Come on, give me a little more credit.
Well, fuck me. This track makes you always think of Hollaback Girl. I think I can see why. It, because of uh, one particular instrument. I don't, I don't know, I don't think uh, Mr. McMuffin would be a fan of a uh, Hollaback Girl, but maybe I don't know. So it does it does work. Yeah, I mean it's always cool to see how things synergize for this character. No holla back girl, ain't no holla back girl. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, I had to give it a go. Wait, so... What if I do double worm? I mean, that's kind of, that's kind of neat. Double worm, so hang on, this is single. It makes it even more erratic. But you do get the benefits of, uh... Like, the tear effects. I don't mind it. Okay, swap. It's not like this is an obnoxious pattern. If anything, it can be useful against certain enemies. I forgot what cartoon show it was. It might have been Family Guy, but I just remember that, like, someone was saying they weren't a fan of Gwen Stefani. And they said, I don't know what a hollow back girl is, all I know is I want it dead. family guy man see what i mean by the brain retaining stupid shit whoa do we go wild card <laughs> i mean for melee it, there's no downside to it it kind of makes melee really strong Mm -hmm. 
This is really visually cool, though. Controlled chaos. Nope, don't want that. Can be useful having the tears go all over the place. Jeez. Oh, yeah, I, I guess this is another useful system of this duality thing. Like, I can go in here. Okay, we're doing this. Oh, shit. That was my bad. I accidentally used the item again. It's okay, as long as I don't use it again again, <laughs> I'll be okay. Ooh, not looking good. That item wasn't even worth it. I don't know, I can't say uh, I believe in this run very much, given what's happened. Tears up, luck down. Okay, I'll take that. That thing just told me I'm gonna die. Mm. Hang on, not that. There we go. <laughs> oh dear. I love how the rolls are pretty much reverses. One of them is more like the loss now than the other. Okay, there's, there's, there's the much needed health. This isn't even a labyrinth, it just feels like it's been going on forever. Okay, I'll keep that one in mind.
nothing else from this run, all I want is the lost unlocked. That would be cool. Am I wrong, or aren't you supposed to have a higher chance of finding skull hearts when you play this character, or am, am I wrong? Go, go, go. How is it still a devil deal? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I've been holding out on the angel room the whole time and it's just, it's not happening. It's still equal chance. Chaos. You know what item that I'm interested to get on this character? I wonder if getting soy milk on this would turn melee into like a... Like that item from Castlevania, Chrysogram or whatever. Where it's just very rapid strikes. But I guess it reduces your damage. Maybe it's not as good as I think it would be. It would look cool. Okay, it's actually very hard to aim. Charge shot, not not the best idea. Thanks. Thanks! Yeah. I mean... Sure, and... Sure. <laughs> I'm not gonna survive this, I don't think. I die. Ah, oh, you dick. Ooh. 
<laughs> oh, no. How is it not giving me hearts? Come on. You want my opinion on something, alright? Shoot. Go for it. Samus rockets, which can get me killed. I've accidentally shot those... Uh, ...directly into my face. We're done here. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> I'll read in a in a minute. So there's this cute girl who's come into the shop twice now, and she's caught you super off guard both times. Okay. Listening. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm fucked here. I guess look at my items, right? Like, aside from the tear up stuff, I... Eh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not playing well. The only thing that's interesting is pretty much my trinkets just giving me this cool tear effect, but otherwise... That's anemia, right? Yeah. Guess. This is nice, I can get rid of them. <laughs> I'm not even moving, and it's just. The shots are varying that much that it's hitting everything. Okay. First time she was with some friends and just randomly leaning and whispered to you at the POS. You know you make the best drinks here, right? Ooh, okay.
turn your dumb ass just struggled, <laughs> stumbled around that. Nah, I mean, look, man, like, in the heat of the moment, sometimes... This is how it is, right? Don't dwell on that. It's, it's not like you're, like you're in that episode of Seinfeld where George Costanza, like, gets asked by the woman, do you want to come up for coffee? And he says, nah, coffee keeps me up all night. It's too late for coffee. <laughs> it's not like that, like, it could have been a completely innocuous thing, you know? Like, she's just funny. See, but by, by comparison, it's fine. That's not a waste, except I did lose the thing. Okay, so yesterday though she came in again and you handed her her drink and she complimented your necklace and your tattoo and said something about how she tried D&D one time. Then she leaned, leaned in and whispered to you again and said, you know you make the best boba, right? And once again, you were not ready for it. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. I only laugh because it's just like, of course this shit happens to you. So, what's, what's the advice you would like? I've been playing Yakuza games quite a bit lately, and not to brag, but um, in those love scenarios, like, I've done pretty well in Yakuza. I don't know if she's messing with you, or if you should shoot a shot. I mean... Mm. I'm just thinking, like... The first time with friends, I could maybe interpret it as maybe she was trying to be funny in front of friends or something. But then, if the second time... If she was by herself, dude, and she did that, I don't know, man, I'd go for it. Now, of course, being, like, smooth in that, like... Because, of course, you're being caught off guard here, that's that's the thing. It's like, I, easier said than fucking done, right? Everyone says, go for it, what have you got to lose? But, like, if it happened to you, in the moment, like... Would you be, like, knowing what to say? To kind of lead to a...
This is one this is one of these things that you would have to think about. In that you would have your your response would have to be something almost that's like a lion, but not really a lion. Or maybe you just don't overthink it. I don't know. I'm sure you can figure it out. If the context is the second time that happened she was by herself, then yeah, I would... I don't think they'd be messing with you. That'd be a little cruel. One way to do it is, like, you could brag about that you make some sort of good dish or something. And be like, yeah, you should try it sometime. And it's either she'll appreciate that direct approach or not. I think that's, that's one of the segues you could do. Is like, you know, she's saying you make the best boba, then you could also say, oh, I make a pretty damn good, like, you know, something something. You should try it sometime. Of course, then you'd have to make a pretty damn good something something. I feel like I'm playing Yakuza here. You could just be direct if you're interested, like if you'd like, would you want to grab a coffee sometime? That is true. I think in this circumstance, I would defer to any, any girls in chat that would love to give uh, Lelo some advice. But, yeah, I mean, if it were me, I, I guess that would be, if I wanted to ask, that would be my approach. Failing to think of another one. Okay, so here's your first draft plan, though. You were brainstorming with your co-workers, and you think she works at Nordstrom, across the street from you. So your plan is to go in and walk up to her and be like, you know you give the best fashion advice here, right? Uh, that's good. But would you do the lean in and whisper thing? <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. Yeah, do that. But you have to commit to it. You have to do the full on, like, everything she did to you thing. Like you have to, do, you have to go all in on that one. It's a pretty good plan. You'd need to know when she works, but you know you could probably get someone to scout that out. You think maybe the lean in and whisper might come across as creepy if you do it? Yeah, but she's done it to you and there's context. It's not like you're the, you're initiating that. Like, the context is she's done that to you twice. You could be like, hey, I have a secret for you. Come here. <laughs> I don't know. Like, the, there's context. Where's the trinket? I need the trinket. I don't know, man. In, th in these kind of situations, I would listen to a girl on this one, to be honest. <laughs>
Really? That's all I got from that? Oh well. It's something. One thing you could suggest is head in there one day, just give her an egg, then leave refusing to elaborate. Well, I mean... That, that, that is an approach. Also, don't get dating advice from Twitch chat. Well, here's the thing. Don't get dating advice from the hive mind Twitch chat. But like, you know, we're friends. <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking steer him wrong in the interest of like being funny or like, haha. I'm going to be part of that hive mind that suggests, no, just be a man. Just listen, just go to an adult sex store, get a costume. Hand her the costume. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Be direct. Like, I'm not gonna fucking do that. Yeah, good luck, dude. I, I hope your endeavor in that does work out. I, I only I only laugh at the start because it's just like Of course it happens to you. It's just like the boba The boba situation with uh, the condensed milk girl I'm not gonna elaborate on that like that. That's the story the condensed milk girl. You know, Godspeed. And good luck. Something's wrong. The egg play is not off the table. <laughs> Well, I mean, she has a good sense of humor. It could be on the table and be fine. You're not a smooth man, but you'll give it your best. Yeah, I mean, I know the feeling, dude. Like, I'll, I'll, I have had admittedly some times in my life where I've been a little oblivious to, to certain things. At the end of the day, as long as, as long as we don't pull the George Costanza, it's fine. You've gotten in trouble for your obliviousness too much. <laughs> yeah. I can relate. Luck up. Thanks for that. Thanks for, yep, held it as long as I could. Well, yeah, either way, uh, don't have to, like, keep me posted, but outcome. Okay, here's the thing. All right, well, I will say one thing. Just have, I'm sure you've considered it, but what if she does it to you a third time before you get a chance to like enact your plan? What's your response then?
like, lightning doesn't strike three times, I guess that's the thing. It does not st strike three times in the same spot. I hate this curse, it just wastes so much of your time. You know what, Synth, because there's... You hadn't considered that. Well, let's let's consider it now, like... Something's wrong. Oh, nice. Up. I think, I think in that event, think of something that you're good at making. Or you could even just be like, I know how to pick like a... A mean coffee as well. I don't know. Figure it out. This is, yeah, this is textbook overthinking, I think. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Coming up with an intricate plan on, on all the potential scenarios that could happen here. Okay, I guess we're good. You really think you'll have a plan, but then she'll do it again, and then you'll crumple into shit again, if you're being really honest. <laughs> yeah, I mean... It's a, bit of, it's a bit of a wild card thing she's done to you. I mean, maybe the simple answer is just be direct. Don't overcomplicate it, just... Just ask. So this, this minion is, is overpowered, in a sense that, like, you get free money. Ridiculous. I think this is, this is definitely a case of, like, <laughs> it might be best to ask another girl on this one. You think it's a sudden yank of work mode that messed it up for you so far, like you're in full service mode and then she pulls that, and you're like, wait, what? Yeah. No, I know what you mean. Like, you're trying to be professional and courteous. Kind of the same if you get that stuff on Twitch, like if people compliment you on certain things, or like a flirtatious, like, I don't know. 
you tend to go streamer mode and not really do what you would do outside of that situation, I guess. sake. Yeah, but then you start simping on my hands. No, nah, but that's not what I mean. Like, I don't think anyone is, is legitimately, like, doing that. They're just doing it because they see that I, I have some form of reaction to it and it's funny, right? I don't think anyone is, is sincerely doing that for a minute. I'm talking about, like, the sincere times that I've had happen. I mean, the most obvious one is, like, some people just like the way my voice sounds and they go off that. And my response a lot of the time is, like, oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> or thanks, and that's it. Like, I don't really... I don't really go beyond that. Like, what the fuck else can I do? I mean, uh, I... Yeah. It's, it's on the, the equivalent of, like, you know, you're at work and that happens to you. Like, what else can you do? Ask all of chat out for a coffee. I'll... It's gonna be an, an expensive endeavor, given, I would say, less than 1% of the people that watch me are, uh, are Australian. It's like, the rest are split between Europe and, uh, America. $1,500 flight plus coffee expenses. You're slightly closer now, or are you? I think you're further away. I think Hawaii is closer. Because Hawaii is in the Pacific, right? Or is in... Sorry, it's stretching. <sighs> yeah. I'm pretty sure you're further away, technically. The time... It's like the time zone... I think is better, but the distance is worse. Something along those lines. Ah. Oh, it's a chain chomp. <laughs> Not in dating the entire chat is not very poggers of me. Damn. Guess I'm gonna have to cross off the aspirations I have of being poggers.
spear, dude. I swear, as of late, like, when it comes to the encounters you've had, that that it's almost like it's just come out of out of anime. Like, it's, it's funny. Something's wrong. You're like that dude that writes into those magazines that says, "I, you know, you're not gonna believe this, but I swear it's true." But it, it, and there is truth to it, it's just, like, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Wait, you've seen some compelling evidence to the contrary on Facebook about the Earth being, uh, round? Yeah, you know, the, those people on Facebook have bits of information that all the world's leading scientists have missed. It's just what Facebook is known for. This is a good item early on, so I guess we'll still get use out of it. You're in a weird, fucked up, rom-com anime phase of your life. <laughs> yeah, well... At least it's, it's entertaining and hey, never know, it might work out in something. Better than nothing. I mean, yeah, they're, they're fun stories, but at the end of the day, it's better than nothing. <laughs> it's better than nothing happening. Okay, I have Smite. This is a good ability. Guess. Has the general consensus for, like, your situation been go for it? I'm sure it is, like... It's just one of these situations where, of course, everyone's gonna say, Yeah, dude, go for it. Why don't you go for it? You should go for it. Hmm... 
that for now. Wow, I'm surprised. I thought that was gonna lead to a secret door. Uh, this is better than it used to be. Plus, we don't care about... ...slow down as much. <laughs> I mean, especially with this penetrating shot. That does seem to be the overwhelming majority opinion. Yeah, I imagine it would be. It's just one of these things where I think people want to live vicariously through you in a sense that, like, they want to see you go for it. But knowing damn well that if they were in the same situation, they probably would have done the same thing you did. Oh, it's an XL, that's why. This item's great. I suppose I should donate the rest. It's one of those things that you'd, you'd say you'd do better in that situation. And I'm sure there are some people that would. But I think a lot of people wouldn't. <laughs> It's just, what it, what do you do? Ah, oh dear. When you were telling the story, like how she said she was uh, into D and D, just stupidly, my mind pictured like she's still leaning in, like she's whispering to you, like being super flirtatious and just talking about being into D and D. Just you know, the mind went there. It was just I know that's not how it happened, but. If some high tier miracle shit goes down, you'll just send a picture of you together as the update. Damn. Alright. I'm not gonna hold you to that, so don't worry, but... Respect if you do. Mm. I don't know, I've had people say that <laughs> they're gonna do stuff. Like, I, I will never hold anyone to, uh, doing something they said they were gonna do, like, for jokes. I guess if if it does work out for you then you'll have like an answer to the question like where do you where do you meet nerdy girls? Just, uh, what you do is you apply for a job at a burger place, work there for a bit, and then 
at some point, don't worry, it, it's just the situation will emerge. It's a very stompy one. All we gotta do is survive the Berber Wars. You know, coincidentally, there was a thread on, like, Reddit Melbourne talking about the opposite. Which is like, how do you meet dudes in that, uh... I forgot the, the criteria, but I was like, what? What do you mean, how do you meet those kind of people? Like, what do you mean? But it was something like nerdy, over 25, and I don't know, it was just like, you, you, you're describing most of Twitch. From a streamer perspective, I guess. I don't know. The consensus was that apparently, it, like, everyone between the age of 25 to 35 that's a dude and nerdy and into games is just very career focused and just doesn't go anywhere to hang out. I'm like, huh. Oh, crap. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to go melee only for a little bit. I can see forever. Oh, yay, thank you. I mean, I guess if you're a nerd but not really involved with too much other nerd culture, it could seem like that. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> this was probably a mistake. <laughs> oh, I just one-shot that- oh, okay, I just one-shot that thing. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still not sure about Australia and Twitch in general. I don't think there's a high percentage of people, like, above the age of 25, maybe even above the age of 30, that use Twitch. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a lot, but... Percentage-wise, probably not as high. At least compared to, like, America and Europe. This toxic aura, though. Ugh. It's saving me quite a bit here. That was annoying. <laughs> ah, it's fine. <laughs> You're Australian and an old geezer. Yeah, but I, I didn't mean that you don't exist. I just meant like... 
as a percentage, I guess. I mean, look at it this way, if there was a lot of Australians that were, like, watching Twitch as a percentage, Ast I know that, like, a lot of Australian streamers, what they do, they will, uh, wake up very, very early because they want to be on the American time, basically, because that's where the numbers are. Aussies as a number is not that high. We don't exist as a percentage. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I think currently I can count the number of Australians that watch me on, like, one hand. Alright, watch me on a regular basis. That's better. In the five years I've been streaming, to my knowledge, I'd say there's about 20. One of your friends back on Maui said she got her current boyfriend just by opening the conversation with, have you ever played D&D? That's pretty much all it would take for you to. Huh. I guess the thing is you gotta put yourself in a social situation that allows that, right? For you, you're, you're in, like, a store that is a social situation, which is good. Now that the pandemic is over, like, I've kind of started to become more aware of the fact that I should probably go out and do shit. Because... Well, now I'm working remotely, and that's the thing. It's like, before... I had lunch, and then I had the commute there, and the commute back, and I would go places and do stuff a bit more. Oh shit, I- no, I forgot to swap. Fuck. Well, this is not going well. Um... Whereas now, because, you know, the whole working from home thing, I don't really do that as much, so... Going out and doing shit is overrated. I know, but like... I guess that's the thing, how else are you gonna meet someone? It's like, the, the two situations I have to rely on here are, are like, okay, it's either- it's either... My options are, hmm, somehow through, uh, work communications, or somehow through Twitch. You know what I mean? Like, I think... In the case of someone that works from home, like me, it's definitely a thing where I have to make a conscious effort to go and do something. I agree, like, don't get me wrong, I, I would much rather, like, just stay in and do something, as opposed to, like, go out and do something and make a huge effort. It's not that I don't want to, it's just like, dude, I like being cozy at home. It's just me. It's not that I won't enjoy going out. Once upon a time, there was, there was a point in my life where, like, I used to get off the train and literally go to work the next day just from having done something the night before. But that, I'm, I'm, nah, I'm good. That time has passed. Okay, this is a cool look. Relationships are stupid anyway. Eh, you just have to find the right one. They're only really dumb in the context of like a bad one, in my opinion. It also depends on how you are, like... There are some people that really need to be around people, there are others that don't really need to be around people, and then there are people that are, like, kind of in the middle. But like, sometimes they want people around them, and then other times they just want to be alone. And if you can find someone that can pick up on those and, you know, be with, then that's ideal.
your theory is is if you're gonna go out and do things it's gonna be something you genuinely enjoy rather than force yourself to socialize at bars and expect to meet someone that day yeah that way sorry yeah i guess that's the thing i don't mean going out in the sense of like going out to a nightclub or like a bar there's other things you can do that are considered social Like, there's meetups for certain things. You're very comfortable in your own company, but you should get out more anyway. Yeah. I don't know, relationship are one of those things that, like, everyone's forced to think that you need to be in one constantly. It's not the case. But it is nice when uh, they do work out, you know? Or at least seem like it's going fine. The sun has risen. <laughs> ah, nah, man. I'm, I'm not gonna play tonight. I, I got work, and I, I shouldn't be staying up, you know? It's all good. That's fine. This, this shit happens. I have not had any success with this character. Admittedly, the last one was my fault. I, I fucked up. I should have been paying way more attention to what I was doing. You shut up. But Lelo, I'm only looking out in your best interests. How else are you going to keep up that reputation of the best boba maker if you're not getting your sleep? Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm fucked. Okay, I'm dead. That was my own fault. Try again. <laughs> One word espresso. Okay, okay. Hey, you know what? Okay. Amy. Lelo was asking for advice on a certain situation that has happened to him at work. Now, Lelo, you can choose to ask for advice here, or you can be like, defer it. Until uh, you attempt your, your plan, but might be good to get some more perspective here. Don't worry, it's nothing sinister. Like, this is sinc sincerely he was asking for advice. Memes aside. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That is super cool. Unfortunately, it's, it's random, so it's, it's unlikely that's going to happen again, but that was awesome. But I, it might also give highlight as to why we've been talking about relationships all of a sudden. Oh. Alright, I forgot I- ah! <laughs> Fuck, I forgot that. I could hide behind my own skeleton body. Okay, we're good. Great 
Wait, what? I, oh my god, I'm not focusing. I didn't have to use a bomb. I could have just flown over. Okay, yeah. I won't I won't read it again, but we'll we'll just wait on that. Yes. But yeah, in short I mean like it's good to do stuff. It doesn't necessarily have to be like the popular concept of uh going out. Yeah, see, everyone's saying shoot it, but like, and don't get me wrong, like I, th I think that's that's the pl that's the play, right? But like, everyone will say that in the context of living vicariously through him, because I think most people probably would have done what he did in terms of, or did what he did in terms of uh, how he responded to that happening twice. I mean, I'll admit, I'm an oblivious idiot, so... First time, definitely. Second time, not sure. You're saying as someone that would actually do that? As in, as someone that would actually, like, try and go for it? Or someone that would do that to someone in the sense of, like, Going to your barista and going whispering in their ear. Sorry, it's just English. English is just. <laughs> Isn't it magical that that sentence can mean the same fucking thing? Both? Alright, well, there you go. I guess it's your move, dude. I'm gonna have, like, one more try at this, and then I should probably do other game that I planned. It's just, I don't want to break the conversation, you know? With me switching games. Everything is fine. Uh, I can't get it anyway. Or... No, 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 don't be stupid. <laughs> can't squeeze between the spiky rocks. No, fuck that. That's not going to be the last run. No, I need to get past the first floor at least. I've been playing too many games where, like, romantic advice comes up.
Will the Love Guru. <laughs> Far from it. I think all I'm doing here is facilitating conversation, not really giving the greatest advice. <laughs> yeah, take, take dating advice from me. Do it. Do it. Do I have a hairball? No, I'm just demonstrating the kind of noises you can make that'll be sure to attract anyone. The shambles mating call. Oh, dude. As as of late, it's just I've just been on this like kick of just making Wario sounds. It's been my go-to lately. Nah, not why. It's like, oh yes. Like that. The why you would think is like the obvious one, but no. Oh my god, from the Japanese Mario Party's good. Yeah. I like, uh, what is this? Like, oh, I missed. Hey. Eh? Wait, does this work? No. Well, shit. Picked the wrong one. You don't like it where your mind is going with these. Dude, I, I, I can be direct and make Wario say dirty shit. There was a game... It was like WarioWare, the new one. 
where he got a uh, a watering can, a golden one. And I was like, oh, yes! Wario loves golden showers. Oh, yes! I'm kind of afraid that I can just turn it on and off. Oh, shit. Hey, what's wrong, Amy? <laughs> Don't you like Wario? Alright, I was laughing. That wasn't good, but you know. Hey. Yep, I'm subbing now. Damn it. Anyway, yeah, it's been my go-to because I've played Warrior Land lately, and I went a bit heavy on the Warrior voice acting in that one, let's just say. You should see what I'm like during Mario Party. It's, it's great. Just let me pick Warrior. Uh oh. Oh, you dickhead. The real pro strat is to master the Yoshi tongue noise. Which one? Classic or modern? I'm sure it wouldn't be hard. There's a Yoshi sticker in the new Mario Party that people interpret as, uh, like, sexual. I'm not gonna go for that just yet. Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> Someone knows which one I'm talking about. Of course there'd be one. Why did they give him those eyes? Yes. Yes? I swear, if I ever get invited to a Halloween party again, I will make an endeavor to go as warrior. I can't believe it, it just hasn't clicked. Like, why, why have I not done that in the past? Going to the dice room to reset the floor. Just means more items. Gimpy.
Are you all quiet because you're just looking up what sticker I'm talking about? The silence became very apparent when I talked about Yoshi's sexualized sticker in Mario Party. Yes, look at that thong. Oh. Yes. <laughs> A bunch of degenerates, yeah. I know, right? If I listen real close, I can hear how close... Hang on, how you're struggling to not look it up. I mean, it's not that bad. Like, it's just people are sexualizing it, but... I'm sure the image is innocuous. It's just... We, we all have dirty minds. I guess I gotta pick this up at some point. You're scared how easily I can slip in and out of that voice. I'm very, very tempted to not make a joke out of that with Wario. But I'm not, I'm not gonna, it's fine. I will say this, I, I haven't actually, I haven't really practiced it. It's kinda just been something that, I, I don't even know, like, I think the first time I did the voice was at a friend's birthday, and we were doing Mario Party. Mario Party, and then some Mario Kart. And then by the time we got to Mario Kart, I was just like full warrior. But other than that, like, it hasn't really come up. When I. I did it on stream for uh, WarioWare, it had probably been the first time in, I don't know, eight years <laughs> since I had done it. Maybe my voice just lends well to like, going to that tone. Or maybe it's just, I can replicate the voice based on what I'm hearing, I don't know. It's not a one-for-one one thing, but... I think if it's good enough to give people a laugh, then hey, it's worth doing. Your mind is rated G, uh-huh, yeah. I, I totally believe that. 
not gonna go back to those times we were playing Risk of Rain, and I would say something and you'd be like laughing. I love it. I love what? Exactly. some extent. Taking a chance. Yes! Oh! <laughs> I mean, they're not really good items, but, uh, you know, this, the gamble paid off. <laughs> the smut train. Yeah. Oh god. Okay, it's fine. Uh, sure. I guess I- Oh, careful. I'm gonna take a chance on it. Because I can. GG. Go through. I mean, I don't take it over the top. That's fine. Like, I I draw the line somewhere. Because otherwise, I feel like I would create an environment where that that is literally all we'll talk about. It's 
not bad. If you can get like a a nine volt, it just means every room's a slowdown. You might need to call out today. What do you wait? Call out as in not go to work? Because you could do that and play Fall Guys with us. <laughs> not to be a bad influence. Nah. Four guys. Yeah, we've been playing it because, I don't know, like, one night I just couldn't sleep and I was like, man, what can I play? And then I was like, alright, I haven't played this in ages. Maybe it'll be more varied now. It's more varied now. There's more maps and everything and squads actually mean something. So it's not something that I get bored of as quickly now. It seems like it's, it's varied enough. Oh my god, Nick, though. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. When I look at chat, I glance at it very quickly, and so I do what you do, like, when you go to university or college. You take notes, and you try to get the gist of it. So in the corner of my eye, so Nick Day wrote, we have brightly colored beans being dicks. And, uh, like, my brain read that as brightly colored bean dicks. But that, like, ha half a second. And then I saw no way being dicks. Okay, I see. The cliff notes on that one are a bit iffy. Yeah, but, like, that's all I get to do is... When I'm playing games that require me to pay attention to where I'm going and projectiles coming at me like that's that's what I have to do I have to do my best I can't get it right all the time and I could have stayed fucking quiet on that one I didn't have to tell you that but I just wanted you to appreciate that being completely honest here. Anyway, long story short, we are playing Fall Guys a little bit. And because I have this new fancy mixer, I get to share music and it doesn't uh, collide with the game audio, so you can mute what I'm streaming visually and still play the game and not hear doubled up game sounds. It's great. saying that depends on how I'm feeling sometimes it's chill music sometimes it's like old retro music like stuff from the 90s maybe 80s 70s as well it's fun but of course we can't do that on twitch because uh yeah not allowed Oh. <laughs> Always see you guys in there, but it's usually really early in the morning. Yeah, I mean, most likely, like, because I got work, right? Most days. It's pretty much the only time I can uh, do that kind of stuff. I 
I mean, to be... Like, I think... Aside from last week, it had been a while since I'd done anything like that. I guess these act as the same thing right now. I guess I'd been like for three months ish, I just hadn't had time. Yeah, the other thing is they've improved the uh, the network play as well, so it, it, it isn't as flaky as it used to be. So. I'm not sure how crossplay works, though. I don't think you can invite people from other things. I don't know, we haven't tried. I think because it's all tied to, like, an epic account, you might be able to. Anyway, if you do uh, choose to uh, give the pass on the work, I guess let us know. I mean, what else am I going to do with that? It's... That's a good pickup. Uh, we've been. No, we haven't been to the shop. How is he supposed to ask Boba Appreciation Girl out if he doesn't go to work? I mean, his plan involves going to her when. She's working, though. That's the th I don't think he mentioned his plan. But I mean, since he already said the, the story, like... He's ascertained that uh, she works in a store nearby. And so his plan is to go in there. Well, and I guess you can say it since you're here now. I wasn't sure if you were gone. But he, ha he has a plan. I have not had any luck with these curse rooms. Okay, there we go. Fuck. I'll just get it back. It's not a bad plan. It's like... Definitely could work. Also, I'm, when I say that, I was like, half kidding. <laughs> I expect that he's going to go to work. I'm not going to be like, no, 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 don't, don't. What are you, what are you talking about?
Oh, there's only one thing that I didn't consider about like that plan. I don't. We don't have. Uh, what is it? Nordstrom here. Is that some place you could walk in? You could walk into, without it being obvious that it's like the only reason you're there is for her. Not that it matters, but. Wait, why did I do this? It's unnecessary. Quick kill. Don't, you know what? Don't, it, just disregard what I said. Don't ever think it. It's fine. Everything is good. Do it. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. Just... Shh. It's okay. Just disregard what I said. It doesn't matter. I redact. Not redact. The word that I'm looking for. I, I use that word... Listen, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm still sore from helping my brother move. It's a Sunday. Any more excuses I want to burn through. Uh, it's the economy, uh, what else is a good one? It's winter in Australia, where Australians aren't used to winter. The reduction of temperature below it slows down the reign of thought. Uh, I'm behaving like a cartoon character at times, oh yes! Sorry, there you go. I don't know, pick one. To be honest, you don't know what Nordstrom is all about. Haven't been there, you just know they sell clothes and shit. Yeah, I guess my mind was kind of going, is this just a, uh... Like a brand that's just for girls, for example, where it wouldn't make sense for you to walk in. So, it's, it's one of those things where, like, from the moment she sees you, she'll know what's up. I guess. That's where my mind was trying to go. For all I know, like, Nordstrom could be lingeries for elderly people. So, you know, walking into one of those, I don't know. Okay. It's definitely not something like Victoria's Secret. No, but there's nothing wrong with a dude walking into Victoria's Secret. <laughs> At least I didn't think so, I don't know. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm just doing what I do, I just think about things. 
better or worse. I, I'm just thinking. I will say again, at no point you should you should, should you follow through in some of the things I say. Just to be clear. Oh, what? It didn't clear the room? What did I miss? Oh, one of these ghosts. Okay, there we go. Oh, for sure, but you're thinking about it in the sense of walking into Victoria's Secrets specifically to hit on a girl. Yeah, but I guess the context is you're not doing that because, like, you know, you've run into her somewhere else. And, uh, you're like, yeah, I'll follow her to where she works and I'm gonna hit on her. That's not what's happening here at all. It's, the context is, <laughs> it, the situation you gave. Where there has been contact already. On her part, twice. There's a, there's a difference. It would feel greasy, I guess. Like, I, I can definitely see that. But why should the store matter, I guess? It's like, if it's going to feel greasy, it should feel greasy regardless of, like, the fact that it's that. It's okay. Do it. You figure worst case you get revenge on her for working. Right, for messing with you at work, sorry. I read that wrong. Slash incomplete. Don't get revenge. I don't think that's his intent. I think the end result he should try to go for is, like, see if there's something there. Not bad at all. Doing okay. Nah. It's a normal one. Book of Shadows, taking that with me instead. Golden remote. Not great items. If you go in today and she shows up again, you're gonna lose your shit now. Okay, so question how like what was the gap between the two uh like times she did that i think that's that's a very important detail At least a week. Okay. Dude, honestly, she just comes in again and just be like, well, you know, you're the best customer or some shit like that. I don't know. We're overthinking this. Yeah, maybe. Maybe a little.
Isn't it, isn't it nice to know that we overthink things though? reduction. You don't want us to overthink things because then we'll talk ourselves out of everything. Nah. Depends on the person. Sometimes it's just a sanity thing. definitely can be a downside to overthinking. Uh-oh, I probably shouldn't have picked that up. Yeah, that's not in my best interest. Everyone overthinks -thin to some extent. You try to think what people mean, or what they don't mean. And sometimes they don't mean anything at all. We're all guilty of this to some extent. That would have been good to get at the start of the run, but oh well. Holy water. Okay, I think we're good. Oh wow, that holy water. Absolutely wrecked. Alright, keep going. The only way to know for sure is for go for it. You can sit there and plan for every scenario. You can just have the plan in your mind and ignore the rest until you know what the outcome is. Yeah. It's true. I guess I'm asking because of personal intrigue and it's probably not making things better. So I should probably just shut the fuck up. That's a lot of spiders I'm spawning. Whoa, 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 what is going on here? They appear to have a combo that's like making tears OP.
I don't know what this combo is, but hey. It's working wonders right now. Spooder. Yeah, I mean... Well, uh, I definitely hope it does work out for you, dude. As I said. Best of luck. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I went from not really getting anywhere to... Yeah, this is going well, finally. <laughs> Look at them. Again, why did I do that? Just... Line there. I think it's both spiders and flies, it's not just one. Oh, okay. Just just a freebie. Hey, now I got a dirty mind. Officially in the game. Go, my poop friends. <laughs> I love them. It's just that, that happy look they have. So many chests I can't open. <laughs> Have some bees. Close second. What the fuck? Why? Look at how many rooms full of chests I have that I can't. Again! One, two, three, four, five. Is it Guppy's tail? Okay. I didn't know it did that. Oh shit. Okay, I'm not gonna use it yet. I'm gonna wait until this this is cleared. Cause this is gonna kill everything. Wait, what happens if I use it on, uh... The final boss? Does it do anything? Well, I guess it doesn't matter, right? If I set it off, it's gonna hit him either way. Wait, does this mean it gets used twice? Destruction! <laughs> ah, damn it. Hey, 
Ooh, this is not good. Holy crap, this is so visually chaotic. More than usual. in there now. Alright, we're good. <laughs> Alright, cool. Success at last. Alright, uh, I'm leaving Isaac here for tonight. I played it a lot longer than I thought I was gonna, but I didn't want to disrupt the flow of conversation that we had going on. Good talk. Uh, I'm gonna stretch my legs for like five minutes though. Mainly because I, I want to get a drink and also I need to switch games, so. I'm gonna do a bit of Yakuza to wrap up the evening, so yeah, give me five minutes, get a snack or something. Won't be long, but uh, more of this tomorrow at some point. I'll probably just do the daily and a couple of things. <laughs>